What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Welcome back to the Journey to Incredibles 2. We're reviewing all the Pixar movies I've not reviewed yet, leading up to Incredibles 2, which comes out on June 15th. Up next guys, the film I'm going to be reviewing today is Monsters University. Directed by Dan Scallon, not Pete Docter, and starring the original cast, Billy Crystal back as Mike Wazowski, John Goodman back as Sully, and also Helen Mirren as Dean Hardscrabble. As always guys, with these Pixar reviews, I do have a special guest talking about Monsters University with me, that is Cody Curtis, my good pal. Cody will give you his thoughts on Monsters University first, then I'll give you my thoughts after. Without further ado, Cody, you're up. Alright, well first of all, before we start getting into this review, I just need to give a big thank you to my buddy Ryan for inviting me on this channel to be part of his journey in Pixar, and now, today, we're going to be talking about Monsters University. Honestly, as far as a movie goes, we all know it's a prequel to the original Monsters Incorporated film. Honestly, for me personally, I know there are a lot of people who enjoyed this film. Me? I enjoyed it, but I thought it was just okay. Billy Crystal and John Goodman as Mike Wazowski and, and Sullivan, they are great. And in this story, we have a much younger Mike and Sully who are in university. Sully's like the all-star jock that everybody loves, and then Mike is the bookworm who thinks he needs to study all together. And we really see the genesis of who they're going to be as they grow into adults and as they start going into their careers. It's a really interesting perspective, and in that, the the best part of this movie for me is when we see what Mike Wazowski and Sullivan were like when they were younger and the overall arc that they have throughout this film because we all know that they grow into friends and we get to see how that story progresses. Also, I thought the score was pretty good and the animation was quite great for what they were trying to do here. And for me personally, the, the second part of the second act into the third act is also the best part of the story for me. For the first half of this movie, I was a little bored. I thought it might have been a little bit too choppy. I thought the pacing was a little slow, and the dialogue didn't really interest me all that either. However, this movie does set itself apart to be a great, enjoyable family film. Like I said, it's not exactly made completely for adults, but kids will enjoy the heck out of this movie. I got some enjoyment out of it. I thought some of the dialogue was good. The animation was beautiful. The second half of this story, I fully enjoyed. I enjoyed the contrast of Sullivan and Mike Wazowski and how they eventually became friends. And the voice cast, as always, I mean, Pixar does great in the voice cast, even if everything else isn't really all that great. The voice talent in Monsters University is actually kind of perfect for what they're trying to do here. I know Ryan has his rating scale on his channel, me... If I, if I was rating this on my channel, I'd say it's a casual watch, but since we are on Ryan's channel here, I'll go ahead and chop this movie up and say I'll give it a 3 out of 5 stars. Ryan, thank you so much for having me back on your channel, bud. I can't wait to see you again, and you know what? Back to you. Thank you so much, Cody, for talking about Monsters University with me. If you guys don't know who Cody Curtis is, he's been on my channel multiple times. I've had the great opportunity to meet him in person last year. We saw Atomic Blonde together and reviewed it. I'll leave his channel link in the description below. Go check him out. He's a great movie reviewer. He does great stuff with Zach Pope on the Sweet Film Podcast. And he just loves movies. So Cody's an awesome friend here. And he loves films. So go check him out. Monsters University is the first prequel from Pixar. It's a prequel that people didn't expect. We were kind of anticipating a sequel to Monsters, Inc. Because it's a classic Pixar film. Monsters, Inc. is amazing. Seeing Mike and Sully together... People were wondering what's going to happen after that. The story to Monsters University is how Mike and Sully first met. This film does not focus on Sully as much. It focuses on Mike Wazowski. When he was a kid going to Monsters University. The school where all these monsters go. Like a college sort of. And Mike wants to get into the scare program. He meets Sully as well as his roommate Randall. Who was the villain in Monsters Inc. And Dean Hardscrabble is the... Dean of the Scare Program, she's voiced by Helen Mirren, she's like this dragon creature, very intimidating. Mike and Sully participate in the Scare Games so they can work their way up, 
build a team so they could be a part of the scare program. Rewatching Monsters University, it's not a great movie. It's an okay, solid, fine film from Pixar, but it could have been so much better. And I feel it's kind of unnecessary of a film to make because it's great to see the introduction to how Mike and Sully were first were formed, but I felt like this movie could have just been better if it was a sequel. Billy Crystal and John Goodman back as their respective roles is fantastic. You really get to see Mike go to some really serious parts to the film, and it's really smart that they focused on his character. Everyone's hard on Mike, nobody believes in him, no one finds him scary, and it's great to see Mike overcome those obstacles, prove to everybody Ron, John Goodman, perfect. He's like this big know-it-all, big jock, confident guy. Everyone loves him because he's a Sullivan. He also is not a perfect character. He's not great at the smarts like Mike is, but he's a great scarer. And the friendship that Mike and Sully have together, it's, it's really cool. They start off as enemies and then they become great friends. We also get introduced to Randall, the villain from the first Monsters, Inc. Steve Buscemi back as the voice and seeing Randall become a hero hero sort of a good guy turn turn to a bad guy he doesn't like sully at all he loses to him and it's cool to see that character evolve but i think one of the standout characters is dean hardscrabble voiced by helen mirren this is a really cool interesting character she's kind of the villain in the movie even though there's another group of villains the bullies the other team they're facing off against but i felt like dean hardscrabble was sort of a villain as well her voice is very intimidating, she has a presence, and I thought Helen Mirren was a great voice for her. The animation looks gorgeous, it looks like a real college and fantastic. Great shots in this movie of the, the college, Monsters University, the scare games also looked great. Other than that guys, Monsters University did have some problems. So let's talk about the negatives. It's very boring of a film. There's a lot of exposition, a lot of teaching scenes, and there's not enough fun moments in the film. It drags a lot. There's a lot of childish humor that really doesn't stick with me like kids and it could have been much better. There's just a lot of basic subplots that don't go anywhere. Let's talk about the scare games that get introduced in the film. They're supposed to be an obstacle for our main characters to get into the scare program. And we get introduced to these new characters in the film that I found annoying and I wanted them to be better. There's so many parts to the scare games that are just basic and really didn't do much to entertain me. Many of the kids will really enjoy it, but as an adult, it's just pretty straightforward. Especially when it all leads up to the ending of the movie, which is a spoiler. You find out that Sully cheated. He switched the scare level meter to easy for Mike to win for the team. You find out that they don't get into the scare program, they get expelled from Monsters University, and then they work for Monsters Incorporated. It's a pretty straightforward ending. A lot of people like the ending, but I just found it meh. There's a lot of parts to the film that could have been better. There are redeemable qualities to the film. But re-watching it, it's just an eh movie and really didn't need to be made. It's not their worst. It is solid at times, but it really dragged down with the story elements that Dan Scallon could have improved on. Overall, Monsters University is okay. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Monsters University a 3 out of 5 stars. There's just no emotional stakes, but it's a fun movie. Alright guys, that was my review for Monsters University. What are your thoughts on Monsters University? Did you love it? Think it was okay? Did you hate it? Let us know down below in the comments. Thank you, Cody Curtis, for talking about Monsters University with me. It was a total blast, man. Up next, we're finally talking about a great Pixar movie again. That is Inside Out. And talking about Inside Out with me is the Neasy Channel, a.k.a. Darnell. That's going to be a fun review to talk about next week. So look forward to that. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. And click that notification bell on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!